All right, what I discovered is that $200 for all of these pieces is an amazing deal and one I would be silly to pass by. So I am gonna buy this whole set for 200. Oh, just wait till the recap at the end and I show you the amazing score that that is. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. It's kind of a special day. Uh, this little thrift store I'm at, well actually it's not so little, uh, is one of my favorites, but I rarely get to come here because they have hours that are really short and so I'm usually working my own store and doing things, but they have opened up on a Sunday for four hours. And I am here to get in there and see what I can find. I have found some really good treasures here in the past. So let's go in and see what treasures we can find today. Let's get shop done. It is a super windy day here in Vegas. So I'm hoping that means not a lot of people will be venturing out. All right, we've got our lucky cart, and we are ready to shop. This is a Costa Boda plate. Oh, it's even got the original little paperwork and the box that it came in. They are asking 25. It says it's from Geary's of Beverly Hills. I'm gonna look this one up. Let's see how much it sells for. All right, first score right inside the door, $25 for something that sells for oh so much more. As you saw on that comp I looked up, I will quadruple my money on this little guy. See another plate down here. This one is nice. This one's $6. This is, oh, it's Gorham. It's Gorham. That's beautiful. I think I'll pick that up for $6 as well. All right, just like that, we are on a roll now. I like that. It was $25. Uh, I am working on my projects. I literally was gonna work on them today, but uh, I work on them out on the patio and it is super blustery, but you know what? I'm gonna grab that. How fun is that little tree? It's 15. These are Waterford ornaments with box. They're asking 20, 25. I don't know why. Waterford is not super exciting to me. So I'll leave those for someone else. These are Williams Sonoma. Williams Sonoma plates. $10 for that set. I'm going to look up and see what those are selling for. All right, I'm going to pass on these. They don't bring quite enough for me to pay 10 for those. Okay, well, I was just going to move this out of the way, but then I had to look and yeah, I was going to say that's anthropology. $5. It's got a little wear right there. I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'm not going to get that one because this is what caught my eye right here. This big, beautiful very quality cobalt blue glass vase. I like the ribbing on the handles. It is again, it's 25, which is a little bit higher than I'd like to be paying for it. I feel like I could get 40 to 50 for this, but I'm just not sure that margin is there for me. But let's look at this one. That's kind of fascinating. Let's see. You are hand blown. I'm looking for a signature. I'm not seeing one. It's interesting, isn't it? Mm, again, it's 20. I'm just not sure 20 is at a price point that I can do much with it. Here's another set of Oh, these are like a cubist pattern. These might be Fostoria. I want 
$8 each on those. We'll pass on that. What I really, really love about this store is how friendly and cheerful and helpful all of their employees are. They're all volunteer run. So I guess they're not technically employees. They're, they're volunteers. I think this is Fitz and Floyd. Are you? Yes, you are. You are Fitz and Floyd. Santa Claus, two quart pitcher. They are asking 15 on him, but he does have a big chip so sadly we'll have to leave Santa. I'm gonna take a peek at these candle holders. They're pretty good about marking information when they have it. I already see some chips which is going to make me pass on these but I was just looking for identification you know for future reference if I came across them again. I don't see any. They are beautiful. Hopefully somebody will grab those and decorate with them. That's a cute little butter dish. Again, it does not have its little glass insert, which is what we would prefer to see. Mm -hmm. Pretty. There is a Franciscan apple teapot for $20. They have that lid taped on there really good. It is what is known as the TV mark. I believe that is not one of the early other marks. They used this into the 70s. In fact, I even think it says 1968 on there. It's a cool piece, but I think 20 is more than we can pay for it. They get some really beautiful donations into this store. I find really quality items and they do run sales. So those $20 price points and stuff, they do run half price sales and things, you know, at some point, if no, if a collector didn't come in and buy it, then uh, it'll be marked down. I'm looking here, this is marked Pana, Panagana, Panagana, hmm, pottery, it's pretty, I love love all that but i'm not sure like you don't see it like from the outside had that glaze been on the outside then that would have been really appealing for me but anything you use this for you're going to cover up that beautifulness this says cut these are not cut they are pressed this looks like lennox beautiful little lennox piece it is actually looks like an older lennox mark as well it's only $8, which is a good price. I suspect this will sell in the 20 to 25 range. So I think we're gonna pick that up. I do love some nice ruby red glass. Very pretty little plate. I think I'm gonna grab that one. And yep, this flower caught my eye. I wonder what that would have sat in. Some kind of an epern maybe? It's definitely not complete see this tray under here. Now, it, as I pick it up, it's very coarse. It's not a fine porcelain. Uh, C-F-H-G-D-M-R-B. Lots of initials. Not sure who makes that one, but it also says it has chips, so we are going to leave that one. Again, there's that Pyrex. Just found some of this at the Goodwill Boutique. It does okay. But for me to ship this size Pyrex, it would have to like have a really high margin on it just because of the hassle factor. So we're going to leave those pieces. Look at this great little cedar chest. It might be a lane. I don't know. I'd have to open it up and to open it up, I have to take the keys off of the lock to open it up. It's in pristine condition and you can see it was given to someone as a gift. Okay, that's not super old. I can tell because there's Phillips head little screws in that, but it's a beautiful little box for $10. I'm gonna grab it. All right, what's this little guy here? Made by the Cash, oh, it's a Cash, Cash family piece. Now the Cash family is associated with the, um, what is it, the Blue, is it Blue Ridge? Why did my brain just go blank? Blue Ridge Potteries, and that's why it has a very familiar look. They're asking 15, which, that's, I think, about retail, so we're going to leave that one. 
This is depression glass in a yellow. That is an EAPG piece. Not one of the more exciting patterns for me. I like if they have animals or people. That's what I tend to veer towards. It does say it has some chips. This is called a spooner. And uh, just think back in the day when you did table settings and everything had its own little serving piece. And so this would have had a spoon, whatever they served in here. Um, really cool. I love, I love the history in these pieces. $12 is a really great price, but I'm going to leave that one. Okay, let's see what else in the clear glass. Oh, see when you put clear glass behind something colored, it just makes it stand out. I'm looking at all three of these pieces. We'll look at the rooster first. It is a pitcher. It is, oh, it's a Cracker Barrel. It's a 1996 Cracker Barrel for $8. Roosters and chickens are just so, so popular for decorating that I think I'm gonna pick that guy up. And let's take a peek. This is wood. It's really quite worn down and I don't wanna spend a lot of time on it. This is a very, very old, I think it's a baby bonnet. Look at how old this is. <gasps> Just think maybe this was on the head of like someone who turned out to be an iconic person in history because you never know you never know it's really lovely for five dollars i feel like it's worth rescuing there's some stuff calling to me on the bottom shelf this is a very interesting piece you can see it's got some wear. Let's put you safely back there. Oh, it does have a crack right through the middle. That is unfortunate. Oh, that is heartbreaking, actually. And look at me, I almost dropped it. Uh, that, that breaks my heart because this is a very, very cool piece. Not a signed piece, but I suspect it would be worth quite a bit if it didn't have all of that damage. I mean, it is still a cool piece, even with that crack. The problem is when something has a substantial crack like that, it's very, very hard to protect it getting to where it needs to go. You know, the integrity of the piece is uh, compromised, shall we say. And so getting this shipped and getting it to someplace intact would be so difficult. And then there is a pitcher though now. Wow, this is, okay, this one is marked S-A-F-I. I feel like this is like a piece for George the Antique Nomad. You know what? This is fascinating. It's really, really fascinating. I'm going to do a quick Google image search, see what I can find, because this one is $20. I feel like it's worth the $20, but I'm going to take a peek and see. All right, I just found someone offering this very same picture for $275. Now that is an asking price. We don't know if it's really worth that, but even if it is worth a quarter of that, it is worth picking up. And because I'm picking up this one, I am gonna salvage this one too. I may keep it because it's a beautiful piece and it is blue and for $8, I think that's super fair and I can learn more about these pieces once they're in my possession. Let's see what this milk bottle is. Some milk bottles can be worth quite a bit. Santa Monica Dairy Company. It's an old clay Edgeman for $10. It's cool, but I'm going to leave that one for somebody else. Okay, let's see what this pretty guy is here. It is pottery. It does not have a name, which leads me to believe when it did have a name it was probably a label because it doesn't have the age on it to be pre you know putting a name on things so it's just it's a pretty decorator piece but it's big so I think we're gonna leave that one take a peek inside the case I think these are global they're asking 18 on those little guys that's a fun I don't know if you can see the little whoop-de-doop I always think of like Dr. Seuss when I see those. Again, not the easiest piece in the world to ship and they are asking 
30 on that one. Oh, there's a little uh, gem tree back there that actually has birds on it. Can you see it? That is very, very pretty. They are asking 10 on that one. I may, I may think about that one. Look at this old brownie Hawkeye camera. They are asking 125 on that. You don't often see it with the flash on there. I've seen several brownies, but this one also is like a Bakelite. That's really a cool piece of history right there. Let's look inside this case. I have gotten things out of the case before, but oh, one of my favorite, favorite patterns, I do believe the name of this pattern is San Juan Capistrano. No, it's, it's B&G uh, Seagull. Interesting. Okay, there is a similar pattern out there. It's not a and g It's made by someone else and it's called San Juan Capistrano. Um, yeah, makes sense. These are not swallows. These are seagulls. Duh, Danny. Look at the detail on the gravy boat. Oh my, this is absolutely gorgeous. $200. I'm really smitten with this. I'm going to look it up and see what it sells for. All right, what I discovered is that $200 for all of these pieces is an amazing deal and one I would be silly to pass by. So I am going to buy this whole set for $200. Oh, just wait till the recap at the end and I show you the amazing score that that is. I'm not sure who she is, but she's very pretty, but it does say, oh yeah, she's missing some fingers. Missing some fingers. Let's see what other goodies are hiding in here. I don't think I see anything else I'm super interested in. I do spot some Harmony Kingdom pieces. They're asking 20 on this one and 15 and 20. They can sell for like 30 to 40, but I can't pay 20 to sell it for 30 to 40, unfortunately. Those are really cool. If they're still here when they're having like a sale event and I happen to be able to come back, then it's definitely something I would pick up. Oh, I like this. Oh, they're talking about there's boxes and boxes of the dishware. Well, that's interesting. That little, it's a, it's a pipe. Yeah. It's, and that's very old. I feel like I know, is that, I want to say Jack Black. Is the artist on that? They're asking 150 on that though. Sometimes you just can't say no. I mean, that is a spec. There's like 81 pieces, she said. So that's like a spectacular, spectacular score. Oh my gosh, wait till you see. And again, the ladies that run this are so helpful and so friendly, and they are getting it all packed up for me. I feel like I have picked this up before. Uh, I don't see a name on this one. Sometimes these can be really, really good. So for $3, I'm going to grab that. These are really interesting. So these were made as uh, awards at the, for the Del Mar National Horse Show. Anytime you have like a national animal show that's like the top top end big money um these are made in mexico so that i'm thinking was like like the base of a butter dish it looks like but there's there's also this piece and then there's this piece here it's really cool i may take a quick peek and see if these have resale value they're very nicely made heavy bowls and it's not like so obnoxious that that takes away from the piece itself but let me see let me see if that has any value so there's a few listings with some good listed prices but there has only been one item from the del mar national horse show that has sold and it was a frame so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pass on those 
Oh, goodness, goodness. That is a really sweet butter dish. Oh, it is. Oh, it's Clouds Folsom. Yes. Six dollars. We will take you. I really, really like this thrift store, and I feel like I'm going to make more time to come here more often because I find the most incredible things. Like, i got to make the time. I've been making time for a lot of things. Like, I cleaned my whole office yesterday, and that was very exciting to get that done. Oh, that's a cool little piece of art there. Oh my gosh, this looks like alfalfa, doesn't it? From Little Rascals? I don't think it is, but sure looks like him. I recognize this, Port Marion. Yes, it is, Botanical Garden, or Botanic Garden. I always want to throw the AL on there. Uh, I have some pieces of this, of this still sitting in the Niche Lady shop, so I'm not gonna pick up another one, but it's a very recognizable pattern. And if I were to put it like on eBay, or Etsy or one of the, the bigger sites, I'm sure that it would sell. But um, right now I have just this very exclusive market on the Niche Lady Shop, but that's going to be changing soon. I know I'm such a tease. I can't give full details yet because we're still, you know, in the, the forming process. A lot of people have been trying to guess what is going on. <laughs> And no, it's not anything that anybody else is doing. I am doing something completely new, unique, and very, very focused on what is best for my uh, reseller friends and their buyers. Look at that. That's got a mark on it. It's a nice, I thought it was a vase and it hangs on the wall, but it's not a vase because it's open on the bottom unless you put a cork. Like, what? I don't quite understand the function of this, but I like it for $3. That's an interesting piece. It's a chili pepper with all these painted veggies. It is a project piece made in 1994. It is fun, so we're gonna leave that one. Why am I in love with him? He's not anything like high-end or super special he came from walmart but i'm a little bit in love with him ah uh, okay i'll be sensible i'll be sensible this guy is cool he is a build-a-bear star wars build-a-bear some of these can do really really well but I am staying out of the plush for a while until I get rid of all of the plush that I have had, that I closed my plush store. So somebody, somebody will find this. It would be a great gift for someone. They've got their lamps out here in the middle. I don't see anything too enticing. All right. All right, let's peek through the glassware. I see a chicken plate back here that's in its original box. So of course we'll know what it is, who it is, where it came from. Union Ristorante del Buon Ricardo. Ristorante Caciana, Pollo Aya, Romania. There's a lot of words on there. There's a lot of words. It is made in Italy. It is six dollars. I think we're gonna pass. There's a there's a lot of words on there. We'll leave that one for somebody else. This simple little plate caught my attention. Hand painted Bavaria. I love the Bavarian painted pieces. We're gonna leave that one. Not a lot of resale value, but. It's super cute. It's getting pretty crowded in here now. I'm not a big fan of the crowds, as you know, so I'm trying to stay in places where there are not a lot of people, so I might skip around a lot. That's a pretty little painting with the flowers. See if there's anything special. 
in the plates. I see some Pioneer Woman, pretty modern. I'm really, really trying to upscale my brain. I tell you, one of the things that helps me is watching some of the channels that for people who are like designers and really, really know the design element. One of those in particular, Laura Caldwell. I absolutely love watching her go through a store and her eye veers to those really artsy things. And, you know, I'm learning from that and really trying to retrain my brain in that way as well. Look at the size of that bowl. Who makes you? Oh, goodness. You are Gateswear. Wow. That is huge. Little fondue pot with its base and everything. Oh, and there's a little fondue forks. Let's see if we've got anything in the vases. Nope, not so much. I recently found out that one of Rachel's favorite flowers is marigolds. And so I found these. I'm going to be helping her in her room get finished unpacking, decorating, and such. And these will be some nice little accents for Rachel. Okay, this is our special room set up just for all of their Christmas goodies. So we are going to head in here. We had to leave our cart at the door. And uh, let's go take a peek. I do see a table full of glass. Oh, it's a Vermont teddy bear with this little tag. It's $20 for him. That's a nice looking piece of glass. Looks like it could be Viking. It is only $5. We're going to grab that. Here is an interesting piece of glass. Sure looks like it should be signed, doesn't it? Very nicely done in a, like an Earth Tones Milli Fiori. It's 20 but there's something very, very quality about this piece. So I am going to pick that up. The long burger is 20. I don't do so great with these long burgers. It's a 1992. All right, we got our hands freed back up so we can keep shopping. That is a really big tree topper. Wow. Oh, he's cute. I don't know how vintage he is. He does look vintage, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got some age on him. They are asking 50 for him. Here's that table of glass we saw from a distance. That is actually cut, but it's newer cut. It's not American Brilliant cut. Some newer cut can have a bit of value to it. It's just not really what I love to deal with. So I'm always looking for the antique cut glass or the American Brilliant period cut glass from the 1800s. And I don't see anything on this table we can't live without. <gasps> she's amazing. She is full size. Like she's my height. Like we're, we're eye to eye. Love her. Okay, I see a whole bunch of Tierra glass here in the amber. So $10 for the candlesticks. We got cups and saucers and compotes. It's not really my thing, but it's pretty against that white background, isn't it? They've just got a little bit of everything down in this room. Yadra ornaments. Not a lot of resale value in those, sadly. We got some cases. Oh look, there are the little rascals right there. It's it's uh, buckwheat watch. And then we got a Tweety Bird watch. Little appetizer picks. Theatrical face powder. Now that's something you don't see every day. Washington's D.C. crate and barrel. Oh, that's a cool, that's a cool chicken tray from Italy. It is made in Italy. They're asking 12 on that. I think I'm going to leave it. 
I've got quite a few big things in the cart that have more value, so cool piece though. Sterling silver candlesticks, Newport. See, they do a little research and they let you know what things are. There's the mark right there on the bottom. 25 is probably a really good price for those. This bird is pretty fabulous. He has marble. He has $50. Okay, we're going to leave the bird. It's fun to see such nice quality things. Look at these little Scotty Dog pillowcases. Are there two? There's two of them in here for $5. Yes. And this is what? A bottle corker, a vintage bottle corker. That's kind of fun. Oh, there's more sterling silver candlesticks. Some elegant glass. Ooh, that's nice. That's a hammered aluminum pitcher, but look at the shape of that pour. It's a very mid-century shape. Don't see a maker's name on it. It does have a little, little damage, a little bent. 15, that's a great price for that, but we're gonna leave it. We've got Yadros. More pretty glass. These are Luminarch. Three dollars. Great price. I've got a lot of glass for right now, so I'm going to leave those. But that's actually a really good price on those Luminarchs. Thirty dollars. Set of eleven. I have a lot of dishes to deal with that I have already purchased. Nature glass feather bowl. It was forty-seven dollars when purchased new. Nice, nice. Ooh, that's beautiful. Bohemian crystal with the glasses. Oh, yeah. See, some of them still have their. Oops. Focus. There we go. Gorgeous, $50 for that set, not a bad price. $5 for this beautiful set. Why are these only $5? I can't resist $5 for a beautiful glass creamer and sugar. I love these Christmas trees. $4, $10, and $4. I want them. Look at this fabulous quilt piece that has been turned into a table runner. I'm looking for a price. Oh, it's $5. Yes, I'm grabbing that. Fun little reindeer boxes. Somebody painted those. Let's see what we got over here. The little prints. Okay, that was fun. Now I'm back upstairs. This is really pretty. I feel like I recognize that name. $200. Yeah, Vito Ruggeri. It's beautiful. I still have to go up and down all of these rows here but I think I'm gonna make a little detour and check out the jewelry counter. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, goodness me. Look at this little brooch with the blue. Oh, they're saying it's a dress clip. Interesting, I can't tell if that's two or 12. I think they're asking 12. So tiger's eye. Those are kind of nice. They look like they might even be silver. I'll look at those a little closer up. Let's peek down here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's pretty carved. Sh 
shell. I think I'll take a closer look at that one. They're quite busy at the checkout. It could take a minute. They are real stones. I like those. I think I'm going to get those. Those are abalone. Very blue abalone. They found just like a section of the abalone that was real blue. Yeah, we'll get those too. Yep. And then these look like little roses. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a real stone, so we'll get those too. This I spotted is a little Monet pin. I think it's Monet. Is it? Is it what? I'm seeing it, but I thought it was Monet. I, no, I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing things. Oh, I saw the Monet on that one. Okay, that's what it was. This is a cool little pin for $2, so I'll take that one. This one is Monet. This one is 15 though. It's beautiful. I just don't know if it's 15 beautiful. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh, they're wood. They're wood beads. Okay, that's an older class. How much is that one? It is 20 on that one. That's a beautiful piece, but I think we'll leave that one. Oh, but I like these for three. Now, peeking over here, let's see. That's kind of pretty. It's 15 though. I'm going a little crazy on things, so I gotta be careful. I did see a little marker that says abalone sterling that caught my eye. So I'm gonna grab those earrings and right behind it looks like a mosaic. So let's look at those two pieces. Yeah, those are pretty for $5. Okay, it's not a mosaic. It is, what is it? It, it it's, that is interesting. Huh, it's not what I thought it was. It fooled me. It's cool. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave that one now. You do want these? I do want those. Yes. Thank you. This says 925. Pretty. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Trying to decide if I like those. They're a little different than though. I'm gonna take those. You're sure? Yes. Oh, okay. Putting these those. Are five. Yeah, these are not these are not as nice as the other ones. Okay, we're gonna leave those. Okay. Look at this pretty pastel. I'm gonna pull that tray out and take a peek. Oh, there's a two hundred dollar something back there. I'm not brave enough to spend that much on a single piece yet. Not yet. Maybe one day. Yeah, this little... Oh, it's not. I thought it was porcelain, and it's not. It's... I, well, that's funny. I'm trying to decide. I guess it is maybe like a ceramic. It's so 90s. It is, isn't it? It is so 90s. It's pretty. I just... Not sure how I feel about it. Oh, it says J made in Japan. Oh, does it say? J oh, it does say Japan on the little tag there. So it is vintage. That's 15 and eight. Yeah, I think. Oh, this is Murano. Ooh. Yeah, it's I like. Glass. I like when it's actually marked. Made in Italy. Yeah. We'll take that one for 15. That's beautiful. All right, now we are back to the shelves of goodies. That's really fun. I think that says 20. Oop. Don't knock it over, Danny. That's a really cool old bowl. I don't know enough about the metals. This looks Asian. They're calling it antique. It definitely could be, but I don't know enough about it to pay 25. Fun little Pennsylvania Dutch piece. That's metal. 
Sharon Italia for 10. It's fun. And then a uh, pretty fabulous frog yard art. And another nice little painted trinket. That's a dollar. Look at hand painted by Franz Franziska. Flowers for a dollar? Yeah. They are narrow little <laughs> aisles. What is this? Oh, cute little bears. There is a pretty tonala plate. That's really pretty too. Is that Korok? Feels like Korok. Look at that. It doesn't have the Korok label, but it sure feels like a Korok piece. It is $10. We're going to leave that one for $10. Oh, they just do really, really a great job at this store. I really, every time I come here, I keep saying, like, I am going to come back here more. And uh, I just have to work it into the schedule more. I just have to. All right. This through my eyes. It's got some crazy. Oh, it's just an Ashland. It's so vintage inspired with the little spaghetti accents on there. And the crazing. Oh, I really like this piece. I, I ugh. here's what I'm going to do. I would decorate with this piece, but what I'll do is I will offer it up for sale in my shop first for a price that makes sense for me. If nobody buys it, then I get to keep it. That's how that's going to work. This is a really cute canister. Fresh baked with love, heartfelt wishes, sweet things in life. Not intended for food use. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. $1 on that one. Oh, it's just kind of covered over glass. Okay. Oh, it's a pretty purple, but I don't know. Well, no, that's actually nice quality for $5. That is the color of the glass. Yeah, we'll take that for five. And I think that's it on this side. Do a deed of simple kindness, though its end you may not see. It may reach, it, it may reach like widening ripples down a long eternity. I like that. I like that too. We got elephants. I often see the cat hooks like this. I don't often see the elephants. For $3, I will grab that. So you might be thinking right about now, Danny, you are way over your 12 to $15 in the cart limit, but you may have also noticed I'm not putting out a video every single day. So my, my shopping trips have cut back, which gives me more time to process, more time to find, you know, quality goods and put them up. And uh, I'm not gonna pass by on really good stuff. Look at that box. Again, $5, uh, spectacular. So this is interesting. This looks like the match to the one I found downstairs, but this one's priced at 20. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave that one until I figure out what the other one is. And then I may come back for it. Who knows? Well, I think I've done my damage here. I have a very full cart and a second cart. And um, it's time. It's time to go to the checkout. So stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. You, you, you want to stick around for that.
see? Did you see the profit margin? Of course, I have some work to do to make that profit realized. Uh, but how exciting is it to be in this business of treasure hunting and making a living out of it? And I just want to tell you guys, I have cut back on the amount of videos I'm putting out so that I can dedicate more time to helping other resellers and uh, spend more time with my family and animals and all of that too. But really to get back to the core of who I am and what I stand for and what I've done for many, many years. I have been burning the candle at both ends and it is time to remedy that. So stay tuned for some big announcements of some big things that are happening uh, that I'm hoping are going to disrupt the whole buying and selling world that we live in. So uh, yeah, that's all I can say right now. But stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and hit that little bell notification. So with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.